morning. Woke up to 6 degrees Celsius today, but it's going to go up to 20 degrees Celsius, which is nice. Perfect. Perfect temperature. Stayed at the uh, dirty house. No. Dirty South barbecue house last night. Just uh, north of Yuma here. The GPS, GPS uh, coordinates, their coordinates that they had on their uh, website and on the Harvest Host website, and on Google Maps and on Waze, all sent me 15 minutes down the highway. Something's really weird about it. I'm on 95. Just about 50 minutes south of Quartzsite, where I'm going today. I'm gonna go to the LTVA to meet up with George and Nate and Roy and Becky and whoever else is over there. I don't know yet. I haven't really contacted anybody yet since I got here. But man, I'm a long way from home. New Arizona. But uh, I'm gonna make some breakfast and watch this beautiful sunrise come over top of this mountain. This small mountain. I wouldn't call it small. It's pretty darn big. These mountains are just beautiful down here. I didn't think I was gonna like the desert. <coughs> Yeah, the desert, nothing but dirt and rock and sand, but with the mountains all in the background, it's beautiful here. But uh, I'm in the middle of like some farmland. I don't know what they grow here. Cabbage? Oh, it's cabbage and lettuce? How the heck are they growing cabbage and lettuce in the dirt, desert, sand? Well, that's what it is. Looks like it's already been picked. On this field, anyways. <sighs> It's been an awesome trip, man. Coming all the way out here. And the ride from, oh, big truck coming. Is that loud? Coming from South Padre Island up to here, it was just amazing going through all the mountains and valleys and, and then uh, Tex, Texas. What the hell was that place called? Texas Caverns? That was, with all the rock formations? That was amazing. Anyways, I'm starving. Let's go have some dinner. Or dinner. Actually, some people call it breakfast dinner. They call every meal dinner. I think it's English. Is it English? It's call every meal dinner. So apparently, hundreds of years ago. There were sacrifices done under this tree. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but isn't that the weirdest looking tree? Apparently a guy was telling me this tree was really beautiful before they had to uh, cut it all down because it attracted too many birds, which wasn't good for uh, growing the cops. The cops? And the crops. So if you hear, you can hear that bird, that's not a bird, it's a speaker trying to scare uh, the other birds away. This is an old abandoned uh, bridge here. Oh my God, the view from here must be insane. Yeah. Where do you see this? Holy. The century. And the, 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 uh, the Golden Gate. The Golden Gate was based on oh, yeah. the same That's why I just, right? yeah, I just read that on something yesterday. Yep. So if you take a look at this, it doesn't look like it's very high bridge because it's uh, all it's just ground right now, but it used to be a river that flowed underneath it. This is amazing. What's it called? The Paul Bridge? Mick Mick Paul Bridge. Bridge. Yeah. Bridge. It was built just uh, at the turn of the century, hundred over hundred years ago. We're not supposed to be in this area. They say no trespassing. Look at these rocks. This is cool. I met this couple from Nova Scotia, Canada. But uh, quartzite's that way. I do vandalize it and put all this graffiti on it. And there's no sense taking it off because I'll just do it again. They've, uh, they've attached the cable right to the, the bedrock in the ground. I'm on the road. Finally. I had to clean the motor home, man. It's kind of messy. We're going to have guests. It's going to keep clean. <laughs> uh, it's just George and uh, Roy. Whoever's up there, else is up there. So I just left Yuma, just left my boondockers, actually harvest host spot, and I'm an hour and eight, 
nine minutes away from uh, the L uh, LTVA, Long Term Visitors Area, uh, south. There's a north one as well. Which is, I thought it would be north of Quartzsite, but it's, they're both still south of Quartzsite, but one's farther up. So, and then I got to call Nate later today, and uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll hang out somewhere. Maybe go into town, Quartzsite, or something, or uh, what's the other thing I thought I'd do? I can't remember. But, anyways, I'm on the road and heading for Quartzsite. It's unreal. After four years of watching videos and meeting all these YouTubers, and it's just strange. I'm going to finally meet some of them. I mean, I've met some already, but even more of them, especially out here in Quartzsite. Okay, drive carefully, bye. I'm uh, at the proving ground here, the Yuka, Yuma proving ground, the army. You got these big, huge tanks here. Proving ground. What do they have to prove? Well, I'm in to uh, Quartzsite at the LTVA. I had to pay $40 for three or four nights, maybe five nights. It's the minimum you can but I got, you know, I get fresh water, use the garbage, dump tanks and all that stuff. Met up with George. He's right here in front of, in front of me on his e-bike. And we're driving up to uh, where the, everybody else is uh, camping here. Big area. Beautiful day, man. Perfect weather. And he's pointing out all the uh, potholes in the road. Because there are a few, but I'm going around all of them. Oh my God, George, stay straight. Whee! Okay, so now he's just showing off on his e-bike. I'd like to know where the sewage pipe goes from here. And there's the garbage. You go up the hill to the dump station. Where's the dump station? Oh, it's over here. Oh, it does get pretty busy. There it is, right there. Okay, I'm coming up to George's spot here. You can see his American flag. Seems like George knows a lot of people here. Waving to everybody as he's going by. There's George's RV. There's Tioga. The Tioga. And where is Roy and Becky's? Okay, now it's getting really rough. Okay, where's he going? Oh my god, I don't like this part now. George and I are walking through the, the wash. It's like a ditch. Oh, don't call it a ditch. No. Ditch are man made. Do the dog walk for all the people that own dogs. It's treacherous here. I'm down here in high heels. Fossil? Is it? Yeah. Weird, eh? George is uh, just showing me his extensive rock club here. Rock club. Rock collection. That's uh, for me. Also, is an export 50 beer bottle. <laughs> Sharp as hell, I don't want to run that over with my tires. Yeah. Oh, no. Very nice, George. To show you pizza? Oh, pizza. pizza's rock. Pizza. Uh, I think you used a marker on that one. And that one that looks nice. Petrified wood. That's cool. Sun is going down. Ten minutes. It's really bright in my eyes right now. As George and I are just sitting here talking. <laughs> Do anybody know this lady? Anybody know this? Do I? Do you? Uh, oh, what? nice. Oh. Oh, his is short and stubby. But oh, when that sun's out, man, it's very, very hot. Very, very hot. George is all mad at me because he prepared a nice meal for me. I already ate eight. <laughs> We're still friends? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> so I just uh, met up with here with Butterfly from Butterfly Gypsy. Butterfly Gypsy. Oh, the sign says it all. So, uh,. Right? You can go over there? Uh-huh. George, let's go. Vermillion. 
disappears. Mankind live just like the animals. I just sitting here shooting the shit. Oh, I shouldn't say shit. Oh, I said it again. And something happened which unleashed the power of our night.